This part is symmetric, left and right, about the plane in the middle, which is the front plane in this isometric view. So my plan is to draw the profile of this part on the front plane and then extrude it in both sides, which is the symmetric option in on shape. Before starting it, we have to make sure the uh, we are using the right unit, which in this case a metric. From the menu, workspace unit, you need to change to millimeters and say OK. And we'll select the front plane, sketch, look at normal to the sketching plane. Let's start drawing with the rectangle. Make sure I start from the origin. Circles. So we need to trim some of the lines here. Trim out this and that. Need to add the dimensions. So this dimension here is 76. This is 51. This is 16. Thirty-eight is to the center. So these two lines are still blue, they are not fully constrained. So in order to find it, what is missing, what I suggest is to grab one of the blue entities and move, and see how it moves. See these lines can be tilted, so this line doesn't have a vertical constraint, this line doesn't have a horizontal constraint. So let's select that, add constraint, horizontal, select this line, add constraint, vertical. So everything is fully constrained. Exit from the sketch. Let's look at an isometric view. Extrude. And we'll first extrude this one using the symmetric option. How wide that thing is. We have a circle at the end and its radius is 17. So the width of this feature, 17, times 2. Now we need to create this boss. So we'll create another sketch, but make sure you want to show the sketch. So show the sketch and select the region you want to extrude. And again, also we want to add symmetric. And this time the width is 44. All right, and you make sure that you want to add the material and not, not a new one so that they can merge. Now, we have this length to be 76, so we need to add this semi-cylinder. Select the top surface and create another sketch. Look at normal to the sketch. Create a semi-circle. This three point arc would be good. So select that, select one end point, select the other end point, and I'll just draw it here, somewhere here, it doesn't matter. Let's zoom it up. We want to add the constraint. This point should be on this line. So make them constant. And the sketch is fully constrained and we need to extrude that sketch so extrude select the region we want to extrude that not this direction but we have to 
flip it but how far we want to extrude it well we can uh, type in the number here from this one which is 16 but instead of adding another number we could choose up to surface and select the bottom surface all right this way even if you change the design and thickness changes still match that thickness now we need to create this pad so we'll again select this top surface create a sketch look at normal to the sketching plane and draw a circle this diameter is 25 and then uh, we will create an extrusion of this one let's look at isometric view three millimeters say okay now we have a couple of uh, holes here so they share the same diameter 11 millimeters so we can create the holes together top surface here select that as a sketching plane again look at normal sketch circles and we need to add equal constraints to them and add a dimension diameter 11 and so click on the center points it's 41 again sketch fully constrained if I look at isometric view so we want to cut it remove through all want to cut all the way down all right and there's another slot at the bottom here so we want to create another sketch look at normal to sketch a rectangle and that need to add a dimension at 16 and from here to the other end is 9 and the height is 6 again remove through all it'll go all the way through and cut it okay let's hide a sketch and let's hide the reference planes press F to fit it now we left with the fillets the fillets and rounds R3 R stands for radius and this radius is 3 so we need to add fillet radius 3 select the edges and with the tangent propagation on you don't see the preview that means if I say OK it'll fail that's because these two fillets are colliding and cannot be resolved so what you need to do is we have to do them uh, one at a time so maybe we will we'll do this later and instead I will select this one and other ones let's go around it and do the fillet here and maybe with this one and this one symmetric okay then add another fillet 
3 now this time we could select this line 